I'm Bob Hallmark in Longview. Ranchers, East Texas ranchers, are hoping for some rain right now for one more green field and one more cutting of hay. Very important for beef production here in East Texas and across the country. Now to talk a little bit about that, we're here with uh, Greg County, Texas A&M AgriLife agent, Shaniqua Davis. Uh, and Shaniqua, I guess for people that need to be educated about this, why is hay so important for ranchers? So you need hay production to be able to feed your beef cattle so that way they continue to thrive during the winter months. Now, one of the reasons that this is important right now is because of the drought and we also had some summer fires which affected our hay production. You talk a little bit about uh, what happened, I guess, in, the, in some other counties, is that right? Uh, yes, yeah, some other counties, we were fortunate we didn't have too many wildfires here in Gregg County. Um, there were a few, but a little down south, a lot of counties were hit with devastating wildfires that burned up a lot of their hay fields. Um, we were in a drought, so they didn't have a lot of production going on at that time, but it does set it back even more. So those um, farmers and ranchers that are looking for hay to be able to feed during the winter months are having to outsource to other parts of the state or even other states. Which we've around. seen before. I mean, we've, uh, we've gone through periods of drought in uh, Texas before where it got so bad that there just simply was no hay and uh, ranchers had to outsource uh, to other states yes. to actually get hay, which can be very expensive. That's the other thing. Yeah, hay in other states might not be as expensive um, per bale or per ton, but you have to factor in freight, fuel, to be able to actually get that hay here. The VAT cost adds up very quickly. All right, so our best hope at this point, obviously, is that uh, we can have one more rain and maybe one more green field somewhere. Yes. That's, uh, that's something that most people don't understand either is a third cutting, which yes. is a, a kind of a standard. That's where you store it up for winter, fall and winter, uh, but that third cutting is very important here. Yes, it is very important. Um, obviously, at this point, you can't have too much hay. Um, there's gonna be somebody that's looking to purchase hay or you're trying to store enough to be able to feed your own uh, herd over the winter. But um, being able to store that hay, having it on hand, People have had to start feeding hay already just because of the drought has already hit them. So they're having to feed three or four months longer than what they originally anticipated. Yeah. And the alternative, if you don't have it, is much more expensive, which is grain, right? Um, yeah. Yes, you can plant winter pasture. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you're hoping for rain. Yeah. Um, so or feeding out, like you said, grain, corn, different things like that. You're having to outsource that. It's more manpower because you're having to continually feed. Um, put that out where they have the proper nutrition that is needed. Okay. Shaniqua, thank you. I appreciate thank you. that. All right. And we'll have much more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.